Johns. We are just uh, about 15 minutes south of Whistler, uh, rolling into the Whistler bungee zone here, and now we'll be jumping off a bridge. God, just listen. I spit a story backwards. It starts at the ending. This is it. This is the end. Um, you know, this is the end, but it's actually just really the beginning. <laughs> We're just getting started. <laughs> You're just getting started. Let's twist it. Round and round. So we're at uh, my record label's Shambla after party that we do with fine folks at Shambla every year. Uh, it's one weekend after Sham, so a lot of us literally just got back to the coast. I could confidently say that I wouldn't be standing here today if it wasn't for Shambla. I, I wouldn't be touring around the world playing music, I wouldn't be working in the studio producing music, and I wouldn't be working with all these amazing artists on my label. Shambhala since the 90s. I try to teach all the Shamba virgins, respect the earth, respect the people, get it on, dance your feet off, but more than anything, share the Shambhala. Get it on, you know, get it on with people, get it on, get on, get on, get on dance floor. Get that shit going on. We always Shambhala is just really inspiring, you know, like all the artists I'm sharing the stage with are my favorite artists and the same kind of scene. Everyone works so hard on their Shambhala set and it kind of sets a level for the year ahead. So it's almost like the few months before Shambhala, everyone's working towards that and we do our best and that's like the debut of what we're going to be doing for a while. So when everyone's doing it, it's a magical thing. Yeah. <laughs> So we just came out of Shambhala and we're, do, we're up here in Whistler doing a little decompression and uh, this is about the only way we know how to do it. You, five, four, three, two, one! Holy fuck! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> you got it boss, stand strong, hands up, here we go! Five, four, three, two, one! Neck breaking, neck breaking! Get steady aiming at your head with these neck breaking tactics! It's funny, after you jump off a bridge by yourself, yeah, yeah. you have this longing to do it with someone. So, uh, how are you feeling? Uh, pretty, pretty not confident. Have you bungee jumped before? I've never bungee jumped before. What's the highest jump you've ever done? Jumped off a diving board. A diving board? How high was that? Like maybe 10 my meters? My grandmother's swimming 30 pool. feet? How high is this one? This is 160 feet or 50 meters. Keep each other nice and tight, okay? You want to keep as tight as you can to each other. Good to go, Matt. And we're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Four. And now we'll be jumping off a bridge. And, uh, you know, it, James has never jumped off a, a bridge. I would say that before the record label, 
for these kind of parties, before promoting, which we don't promote as much anymore, but before all of that was Shambhala. Shambhala. It's just, it's a very magical time of year, I think. You kind of start planning less and yet accomplish more and more things happen. You know, these festivals, man, everyone coming together and just the, this exchange of energy between artists, between creators, between just contributors. Like, it, you know, the reason a festival like Shambhala has so much is everyone in their own ways is a part of it.